Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, we're going to take a look at using the MobiLink TNC for PAT WinLink connections. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So there's been some revisions with Pat Menu uh, with the very latest version, which is 2.7.0 as of the time of this recording. And one of the major changes that uh, was done in that last revision is the ability to use the MobiLink TNC almost seamlessly with Pat Menu. So today I want to walk you through how to get both the TNC2 and the TNC3 configured and working with your Raspberry Pi. Now the first thing you will need to do is go ahead and open the application, the MobiLink application on your mobile device and get it configured for your radio. You also want to run a PTT test through the app and make sure that it is triggering your radio uh, when you transmit data. Uh, without that, then anything we do over on the Raspberry Pi is not going to, uh, or has a potential not to work. So we do want to verify that the PTT is working. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and disconnect your mobile device from the MobiLink TNC. And then let's go ahead and head over to the Pi and show you just how easy this is. So a couple of things to point out here before we get started. Let's take a look right up here by the clock at the Bluetooth GUI interface. And you'll notice that I do not have a MobiLink TNC uh, in this area at all. I haven't even paired the MobiLink with the device. So the first thing we're going to do, you will notice now we're going to do the TNC2 first. You will notice that fast flashing blue light on my MobiLink TNC2 and we'll watch that change states as we get paired up here in just a second. But go ahead and open Pat Menu and then we're simply going to click Start MobiLink Modem Bluetooth. Now, you will notice there is another option down there uh, to start the modem wired. That only applies to the TNC3. That is not possible with a TNC2. So, let's go ahead and click on uh, the Start uh, Modem Bluetooth. And you'll see that I get this warning where it says no MobiLink devices are paired with this Pi. And it tells you to turn it on before attempting to pair. Well, obviously mine's on because I've got that fast flashing blue light. So let's just go ahead and click pair now. And you'll get this new window that opens up while it's attempting to discover and pair with your device. If this is your first time running it, uh, Pat Menu will do a check and make sure that it has the needed dependencies. If not, it will go ahead and uh, install those for you. You'll see that it has started the pairing process and it's asking us to stand by. And we'll get a dialog here that says connection successful and it says here that it was probably successful and we need to start the uh, Bluetooth modem again. So, back in Pat Menu, well, I'll tell you what, let's take a look up here in the GUI interface again for the Bluetooth. And you'll notice now that I have the MobiLink TNC2 uh, paired with the device, but it's not connected. Now, we don't need to click Connect up here. Pat Menu is going to handle all of that for us. So, let's go ahead and just click Start the MobiLink Modem Bluetooth again. And we'll give it just a couple of seconds. It takes 10, 15, 20 seconds to get this completely paired and ready to go. You'll see that it has detected the TNC2, and it's asking for just a few more seconds while everything gets started in the background. It will give us a dialog that tells us the MobiLink modem has started, and it should go ahead and open the PAT mailbox uh, window for you in your browser. So let's just go ahead now and try to connect. So I'll click connect here and we want to set the transport as AX25 
and I'm going to connect to my local, uh, my personal local gateway here. So KM4ACK hyphen 10. And let's go ahead and make that connection. And it just dawned on me, I think the password is still incorrect. I usually don't enter my actual password on test boxes. So I'm probably going to get a warning down here in the bottom telling me that it failed due to the password. But we'll see if that's the case here in just a second. And indeed, uh, it did connect, and it told me that uh, the login failed uh, improper password. So I do need to reset my password, but I'm not really worried about that. This is enough to tell us that the connection was successful. So let me go ahead and reset things, and let's try this again with the TNC3. Okay, so you do want to note that the TNC3 is a bit different. When we fire that up, we get a green light and then a blue light. We don't get that fast flashing blue light like we saw on the TNC2. Once again, on the Raspberry Pi, let's take a look right up here at the Bluetooth GUI interface, and you'll notice that I have no TNCs connected. Just like before, let's go ahead and click on Start MobiLink Modem Bluetooth. It's going to tell us that no MobiLink devices are paired with this Pi. Turn it on, and I've already done that, and we'll go ahead and click Pair Now. We'll get that same dialog box like we got a minute ago, telling us that it's looking for nearby MobiLink devices. It has found one, and it is starting the pairing process. And again, it asks us to stand by for a couple of seconds. We've gotten the connection successful window. And then this one will tell us here in just a second that it was probably successful and to start the MobiLink modem again. So we'll go ahead and click on Start MobiLink Modem Bluetooth. And we'll give it a second and let it find that TNC3 and go ahead and create the necessary connections in the background. Once it's done, it tells us that the MobiLink modem has started and it's going to open up our PAT mailbox one more time. Again, we'll just go through and do a quick connection. So action and connect. And we'll go ahead, I don't have an alias, so let's select AX25 and give it the call sign. Once we've entered the call sign, once again, we can just click connect. And like before, I'm going to get a failure. We will be able to see it connecting. Uh, you see up here in the top, it does say connected. But I'm going to get a failure down here in the bottom because I didn't change my password again. So as you can see, this latest version of Pat Menu makes it super, super simple to get going with the MobiLink TNC and Pat WinLink. If you found this information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.